Also, in terms of uh, medicine and dentistry, I think, you know, people never talk about it, but this whole managed care basically integrated health care because prior to um, managed care, you always went to your black doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and very, people, very few people went downtown to, uh, to a doctor. And because um, when I was growing up, um, there was a Dr. Carrington, on, he was my, in, I guess, pediatrician on 100 and... Um, 59th Street and St. Nicholas Avenue, the Brownstone, hmm. and uh, eventually the black doctors came into HIP when HIP was created on 152nd Street they, and, and, and Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. So that was our where we went to the doctor. I think they were most predominantly were black doctors. Yeah, at that at, time. At that time. But you didn't go down, to, you didn't, except for having a knee surgery. Um, I think his name is Dr. Altman. You, everyone had black black doctors, and uh, so managed care <laughs> just threw that all out of that whole system of segregation and medicine, and very quietly. And Dr. Wright was the first uh, black doctor admitted to uh, practice at Harlem, and he. Um, he graduated from Harvard, <laughs> had probably better credentials than all the other white doctors, <laughs> but they made him the lowest paid uh, attending back in, in, Harlem, in Harlem. Harlem Hospital. And Sydenham was another place where they allowed, that was, Sydenham was basically a Jewish hospital that gradually allowed um, blacks to also practice there. Hmm. But it was, Harlem was the, sort of a premier institution that allowed um, black doctors to uh, practice because our doctor was Dr. Uh, you remember Myra Chin? Yeah. Um, she was, was it Ma Ma Myra? No, that's right. Myra no. Logan. May Myra May Logan Chin. May Chin, right. Mm -hmm. And she was on 155th Street. She was at 409 Edgecombe, Edgecombe Avenue yeah. was her uh, office. And then my mother, grandmother used to go to Myra Logan. I think her brother was um, Dr. Logan who started, um, what's the hospital? Logan yeah. Hospital. Was that the Knickerbocker? Yeah, the Knickerbocker. Yeah, on convent. During the fiscal crisis, they had to shrink the hospital system. I think there used mm -hmm. to be 18 or 21 city hospitals, and uh, Koch was trying to deal with the the budget, and he thought that they should close. You no, know, he tried to identify two or three major hospitals for each bor a borough, and the rest had to go. And uh, usually the black institutions weren't as strong as the white institutions, so um, uh, Sydenham had to go. Sydenham went, oh, I can't remember. There was a whole bunch of, it wasn't just Sydenham, but Sydenham had the most, because it was Harlem, had the most, um, made the most noise, if you want to call it that. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the leaders was my uh, boss, Dr. McIntosh, in terms of preventing it from being closed. Um, but in hindsight, it, those small hospitals, I mean, those small hospitals now are, are going, you know, I did, as part of my little uh, uh, lecture every year, there used to be about 50, don't quote me on this, but a, a whole bunch of hospitals, about 50 hospitals north of 96th Street mm. um, around 19, let's say during the first half of the um, 1900s, and all of those have closed. There was the Parkway Hospital, there was the one mm. where she was born, the L Lutheran, Lutheran Hospital, hospital. there's uh, Mount, um, Mother Cabrini right behind my house, mm -hmm. there's Wadsworth Hospital where I was born. Um, hmm. You just go on, and I have a whole so list many. of them, but there are about 30, 40 hospitals in Harlem that were, you know, north of 96th Street that were closed, and I think it's just a small, the small house. At the time, it looked like it was a racially insensitive um, decision, and I understand Koch regretted that he closed the hospital, but today's economics, that hospital could never survive um, mm -hmm. without, unless it was subsidized, unless it was modernized. I mean, um, once the city closed Sydenham, they put all their money in what, Metropolitan, um, Metropolitan Harlem and uh, Bellevue in Manhattan, and there were two in each of the other boroughs. Um, so we only have about 14 or 12 or 14 hospitals now. And, uh, but then all these hospitals have had to be modernized. Um, 
And if you look at all the, where all hospitals are going, it's, either, it's usually e easier to build a new building than it is to retrofit an existing building. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you're landlocked, like Columbia built the Heart Center, they built uh, Milstein to uh, modernize and converted all their old spaces into uh, oh, what do you call it? into office or outpatient clinics. So Sinem couldn't survive at its size and whatnot. So even Going another step, Harlem used to be a 1,200 bed facility, 12 to 1,500 bed facility. It's now about a 275 bed facility. That's Harlem just, Hospital? Yeah. That's just the di difference. dynamics of the where healthcare is going and whatnot.